Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Wednesday, hump day, and I have an update for you and hopefully I can keep you from making this mistake. It seems like that's what I do a lot is keep you from making the mistakes that I do, which is good. I have been doing, you know, keto carnivore now since the end of May and I've had incredible success with weight loss, joint pain, the menopause symptoms, just everything. If you have been with me, you know. If not, I'll put the playlist down below. So about, I would say, was it last week? I think it was actually the week before. I started noticing that I was hungrier. And that is weird because on keto, you're usually just not hungry. It is so easy to do intermittent fasting because you literally are not hungry. It would get to be like two and three o'clock and I still wasn't hungry, but I would go ahead and eat. So I noticed that I was getting hungrier and my thinking was, oh well, I guess, you know, my body just needs more food. I guess my body's just telling me I need more food. I had already lost down to the lowest I've been is 125 and I started out at 152. I think weekend before this past one, I woke up and I woke up very early and I have this thing in my head, and I don't know who, I, what video I was watching, but I was watching some type of video about getting things done and, um, you know, getting more done during the day and stuff like that. And I think it might have been Mel Robbins. I watch hers a lot. I don't like all of them. I think some of them are kind of, I don't, it's normal. You don't like all of anything. I don't expect you to like all of my videos. So I think it was hers and she said, when you wake up, get up. And so I had this in my head. So lately, if I wake up at four o'clock, that's like in my head. If you wake up, get up. And so I've been doing that. A lot of times I will get up that early and I love it. I really do. I love getting up early because you know it's just me and the kitties and John and Bridget usually stay asleep and I just have all that time in the morning to you know read sit on the back deck I'll watch some YouTube videos like on whatever I'm interested in that day I can work on a video I feel like I am just so ahead of my day so that was happening a lot and I'm still keep in mind I was going to bed I fall asleep anywhere from 8 30 to 10 o'clock usually I usually don't let's just say 8 30 to 10 30 so it just depends on what's going on and is there anything that I'm interested in watching in, on TV or anything like that or I, am I in, really into reading something and so that is when I've been going to bed too. So generally I was still getting, you know, six hours at least, but I know that I'm a person that needs eight hours and I really like more and I am not taking naps now. I just don't feel tired during the day. Even the days that I get up so early, I really don't feel like I need to take a nap, which is something very different on keto, something great, I think, because I feel like I was wasting a lot of my day and a lot of my life taking naps. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you this the, about the sleep thing because that is going to come into the getting hungrier. So I, just that, that weekend that it first started that I was getting hungrier, I thought, hmm, you know, I must need to just put some more weight on or I must, this must be my body telling me I need to stay right here or something like that. So I kind of, you know, blew it off and then it just kind of kept on happening. Like every day it seemed like I was getting hungry at like 12 o'clock or one o'clock and that's still good to skip breakfast, but it was just different. And I was thinking, what is going on? You know, I don't like this. Is my body just getting so used to keto that it's not going to do the same things for me? And it was making me kind of scared and sad. I started thinking, what have I been doing differently than I was doing in the beginning? What have I changed in the last few weeks? And I thought about it. This. I started taking a bunch of gummies and I did not realize now these 
I just looked at these and these aren't that bad. I think I can probably still take these, but these first ingredient, sugar. First ingredient, let's see, this is the Goli Nutrition Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. You know the benefits of apple cider vinegar. It's supposed to be great for your digestion, help you burn fat, but it's supposed to be really good for people like me with IBS. Like even Dr. Berg in one of his videos said, one thing could be your stomach isn't acidic enough. So I just cannot imagine taking a shot of that vinegar, the Bragg's vinegar with the mother. And then I can't imagine drinking water with it in there. If you guys have a helpful tip, I really want it because I do think this was helping with my stomach. I really do. When I was taking this, I was getting braver and I was starting to have asparagus. Um, I've been eating a few little blueberries, just like one handful. Um, even last Sunday, I had my first salad that I had had in months. I was talking to Tammy and she told me exactly what to get. So I went and got the hydroponic, you know, bib lettuce. And because I was thinking I want something, I want to make sure there's no like chemicals on it or anything. And I didn't have any cucumbers or anything. I took it over to my parents. I bought the... Oh gosh, it's some special dressing. I'll put the pictures in here because I sent those to Tammy. And it was very good. And I had just like bacon on it. Been getting really brave and trying some different things. And I can't say that it didn't upset my stomach. Like my stomach was definitely angry and definitely got rid of it, you know, as soon pronto. But not like within an hour. And it, I didn't like keep on hurting like I do when I really, really have a bad reaction to something. So that still is progress. And I still do, you know, plan on trying things. John loves the avocado. I got him hooked on the avocado with the nothing but the bagel seasoning. Of course, I know better than that now. It's got like two different seeds in it. But when, he, when I fix his, a lot of times I'll just take a slice or two and eat it, even though I don't like it. My next thing is I'm gonna try it in egg salad. I think I might like that. And when I thought about what was different, I realized I had been taking these. And so the goalie, it still is the apple cider vinegar gummies and it is with the mother. And it says one to two gummies up to three times daily. Enjoy up to six gummies a day. I wasn't having six gummies a day, but I might, I was up to definitely two if not three or four. Then I just thought about it. So I came over here, I should have known because they're not like the best tasting thing because you do still taste a little bit of the vinegar, but it's kind of in a good way. You know what I mean? It's kind of like eating a Sour Patch Kid or something, you know, like it's, there is like a to it, but it's still good. No wonder. Okay, the ingredients, organic cane sugar, the first ingredient, organic tapioca, water, Okay, so it's basically those two things because the tapioca is make, giving it the gummy feeling. That, and then these are Will's. He's just been taking these vitamins forever. And they are the Kids Multi with Probiotic. Even though he's really not a kid, I need to switch him over to the men's. But I, a lot of times, I would take, I think, two of these. And first ingredient is cane sugar then glucose syrup, water, gelatin, natural flavors. So I have cut these out completely. Let me show you these too. Every once in a while I take these. I have taken these for a long time actually. And like now, sometimes I just don't think about it. Sometimes I do. So I'm not regular with them, but they are the gummy life extension. This is where John orders a lot of his vitamins and supplements for working out and nutrition and stuff. It says no added sugar and they're cherry. And they are, let's see, chew four gummies once daily. Okay, I've never had four gummies. I will either have one or two. It's the Verisol and Bioactive Collagen Peptides are registered trademarks, okay. And other ingredients, it's IMO syrup, purified water, gelatin, xylitol, cherry flavor, vanilla flavor, citric acid, um, bean gum, black carrot color, sunflower oil, and stevia extract. 
So I'm not sure about these. I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit more. If I can keep taking these, I don't even know if I really need them. But that was just something I felt good. You know, I felt good taking these things. You know, I felt good because I felt like, okay, anything I'm not getting from the vegetables, maybe this will help. And I felt like these were really helping me eat vegetables. So that is one thing I think I was doing to sabotage myself and really starting to feel hungry again. Because now that I have cut those out, I feel totally different. And I had gone back up to 127, which is still, you know, fine. But it was just weird that I'd gone down to 125. And I've, I do, when I go down one pound, I do kind of go back and forth, you know, 125, 126, 126, 125. It'll do that for a couple of days and then it'll hit the, the lower one. Well, I've never gone back up to. And I thought, well, that's because I'm eating more, which it probably was. So that was something else that I noticed. Now that I have stopped eating those, it has helped a bunch. Another thing I did is I quit getting right up if I wake up at 4 o'clock, 4.30. Now if it's 5.30, I will probably go ahead and get up. But from that, as soon as I realized it, what I was doing and I read about, and I remember I've told you guys how important sleep is for burning fat. I did not realize how important sleep is for regulating your hunger hormones also. Ghrelin and all of the hormones that need that time to level out and they also like it when you intermittent fast. So the combination of everything and then me getting up really early and then feeling like I wanted to eat at you know, 11, 30 or 12, and then I might eat, it's like I was almost adding another meal in a couple of days. And so I think all of those together really sabotage me. Another thing when I was reading about this, and this made so much sense to me, is a lot of times if you do something like that and you either cheat and eat carbs at night or like these hidden carbs, like, does it even say how many carbs are in here? This is probably going to freak me out. I don't think I've looked at that. Let me see. Okay, total carbs, 2 grams for one or two gummies in the vitamins. And then total carbs, 4. And total sugars, 1. I don't know. It just amazes me that that would make a difference. But between this, quitting these and sleeping more it has made a big difference and i think another thing i was reading is the carbs if you eat things like that at night it will by the time your body processes everything and you know you get that sugar back in your system you get hungry the next day it really you know eat them at night and then the next day you will really feel the carbs which we know that we know that even with you know, the inflammation in our joints and everything else, that by the time your body processes it, it makes you even more hungry and you get all the bad side effects. That is something I just wanted to let you know if you're on this path with me, that be careful for these things that we take, like especially if you are eating, like having smoothies or like me, you know, eating blueberries like these and the blueberries and things like that. I just think I was eating too many carbs and sugars. I need to find alternatives. I need to probably suck it up and just drink the vinegar, just take a shot of vinegar because I do want to keep exploring and keep exploring and being able to eat a salad and everything else and make sure you're getting your sleep. Whatever you need to do, like what I've started doing is when I do wake up, I just get up, I go to the bathroom, I come back in the bed and almost every time I'll think I'm not going to be able to go back to sleep. And I do, you know, so that has helped me. And as soon as you get off of those things, you will like right now it is 1122 and I actually slept until what time did I sleep until today? Like 730 or eight because I stayed up a lot later last night than I typically do. So I feel really good today. And I didn't have that, I haven't had these for the past, you know, 
three or four days. So now I feel like I'm getting back into my routine and that's what made me want to come tell you guys about it. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day. I actually just got a new belt from Miranda Fry. It is their chain belt. And you guys know how much I love chain belts and chains are like a big thing this season. Like, of course, it has been for a few years, like the chains on the boots, chain across the shoe, you know, the um, how the Bottega Veneta has the chain and everything. So that's a big thing. And you guys know I love gold. I'm like LL Cool J or something. <laughs> I love that. I like to be, what is that? Um, it was that I'm going to get you sucker where he died of over gold. <laughs> if you're my age, you remember that movie. Anyway, I'm going to do a outfit of the day. I'll be right back. So this is one of my favorite slip dresses from, it's an old one from Victoria's Secret. But I am going to do a video soon on styling slip dresses in the fall. So I will have some more to show you and I'll be able to link more. And this is the Miranda Fry Sloan belt. And I got the medium just because I didn't want it to be too small. I think I probably got could have gotten the small. Now I like sometimes I might want to wear it up here depending on what I've got over it. But like today it's still warm and sunny outside so I'm just going to do it kind of down like on my more natural waist and I think it just makes the biggest difference in the slip dress. It just gives it a totally different look and then the shoes, I put on my boots, my Schlitz boots and I love those so much but for that would be more of a look with a jacket. I think for today I just wanted to wear something kind of cool that went with this look and I put on these Schutz little mesh shoes. And so this is my outfit of the day. Then my bag which goes with everything will go perfectly fine because it goes with the black and it's metallic so it's really easy to mix. You guys will love this. I know some of you have gotten it. It is just, I've got a little system worked out now. My phone goes in the back. My sunglasses, I think I've got some in here now. My sunglasses go in the back. And here's my mask and everything else goes in the front. That way when I'm, you know, checking out or something, I know where everything is. But I have really, really enjoyed this. And I'm wearing the Chanel, the new Chanel foundation today. I, the other color that I got, the BD31, is getting delivered today, FedEx. And I waited and waited to put it to, hopefully it would get here and I'd be able to wear it for you. But anyway, I think the 41 still goes pretty good. So I'm anxious to try that. And um, Miranda Fry rings. I think you guys will love their jewelry. And I'll even, this I just never take off because it's all real gold, but I can make a combo that looks just like this from Miranda Fry. She actually has a really cool necklace like this one. I've had this one since I was in high school, but she has a really cool one like this that's a little bit thicker that I like. And nail polish is OPI, Lincoln Park After Dark. My fragrance today, I've been wearing that Tom Ford Rose Prick fragrance every day. I love it. I even love... Like later in the day when I go in my room where I sprayed it, I can still smell it a little bit. It's so pretty. And anything else I need to, oh, could you guys tell that I got my hair cut? She says she cut about an inch off of it and she kind of blended it. I don't know, did I turn around? I think I did. You can see when I turn around that she kind of, it was like the sides had grown out and then the bottom had grown out. So she kind of blended it like that and I can tell a real difference and so let's see I don't know how, how long I've been talking but I just got a package from one of my subscribers and friends Corey and I just opened it this morning John opened it for me and it is the Iku Effusions No Frizz No Drama Shampoo and Conditioner these are things that she likes that she sent me thank you so much and she sent me this shampoo and conditioner Head and Hair Soothing Conditioner, Vegan Cruelty Free uh, Soothing Shampoo, Dry Scalp Relief, that'll be wonderful. Brooke might can use that too. Then a Thermal Treatment Wrap. 
she is an esthetician. She has sent me great skincare in the past too, and she just moved, and I'm so happy for her. Her husband and her look so happy, it just does my heart good. And then she sent me this brush. It's the, I'm not, it's I-K-O-O. -O. If I pronounced it, it would be Iku, but it might be Iku. So let's see. Oh my goodness. This is really cool looking. Let me read the pamphlet for us real quick. It says, what started all the rumors, designed with an innovative bristle architecture that detangles hair while offering a relaxing scalp massage based on a traditional Chinese massage technique. Each bristle detangles gently and effortless for, effortlessly for silkier, healthier hair. Start with wet or dry hair, begin at the roots and scalp and brush to the ends. Easily clean with soap and water. Okay, so it's probably like a fancy, ooh, a, gosh, this is fancy. Okay, you would put your hand right there. So I will use this tonight. That's what I was gonna tell you is, Tonight, I think I'm going to go ahead and break down and dry my hair for the first time in months. I have thoroughly enjoyed not drying or curling my hair for the summer. And I think that's wonderful. I think that's going to be my plan is in the summer when you can't keep a style anyway because it's so humid and, you know, there's no point in me spending time on it. What a great time to just let it dry. Plus, in the summer, see, I would take a shower and I could walk outside, I could get the mail, water my flowers, and my hair was just about dry. Well, now, even if I wash it early and let it dry, it's still a little bit wet by the time I go to bed, and I just don't like that it's cold. I don't like going to bed with wet hair. So I think I'm going to, as healthily as possible, I've got the Dyson, I've got everything, and I'm going to try to, I would love to learn how to do just a good blowout like Morgan does. That's my goal, but if not, I will never go above 325 or like 340 in heat and maybe just use the curling iron. So I've given you a little hair update too. So thank you guys so much for being here. I just appreciate you all so much. You are my friends. I look forward to just telling you everything. If you like my videos, please share them with your friends, and I will see you here tomorrow. Bye-bye.